Cop Biz. Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Cop Biz. In this video, we are going to talk about the BIS certification for induction stoves in India. Induction stoves are now an important part of our daily lives. You can see them everywhere in your houses. Earlier, they used to be just a device where you can change temperatures according to your will. But now, with the innovations and developments in the technology, they provide you the presets or I should say, they have various different modes for dishes etc. For example, if you want to cook chapati, they have a separate mode for them where you just have to press one button and temperature and everything will be maintained for perfect cooking by the device itself. The Indian induction stove market is expanding rapidly. According to the Indian induction stove market, over the next five years, it will grow at a CAGR of 23 to 27%. Before introducing or importing an induction stove into the Indian market, all brands and models must be classified under Indian Standards 302 Part 2 Section 6 and obtain BIS CRS registration. If manufacturer, whether domestic or foreign, intentionally sells an induction stove in the Indian market, BIS CRS registration shall be provided only to the product manufacturer and not to the dealer, distributor or trader. They must send the product samples along with the necessary documents to the BIS office. Why it is important in India to get BIS registration? Let's talk about that. BIS certification for products is given when all the standards are matched. Then the officer is designated and will grant the certificate for BIS registration. Lastly, this procedure will require around 3 weeks, starting from the date of filling out the application form. In a very brief statement, BIS registration in India provides a third party guarantee about the customer's quality, reliability and safety of products. So let's discuss documents you need to submit with application for BIS certificate for your induction stove. In case the signatory person is other than the owner of the manufacturing facility, then they must submit the authorization letter, application form, testing documents like CCL and CDF, test report of the product samples, trademark authorization letter if the manufacturer does not own the brand, product manual of the applied devices, ISO certificate of the manufacturer, nomination letter of the authorized Indian representative that is AIR, trademark certificate, undertaking and affidavit in case of foreign manufacturer, etc. Next, we are going to talk about the procedure for getting the BIS certification. Step 1 is samples should be submitted to a BIS certified lab. The certification procedure for electronic products in this regard, the manufacturer must get their product tested from the BIS authorized laboratories. Laboratory services are as follows. Depending on the product, the fee may vary. Step 2. Testing the product sample and issuing the test report. It mostly takes a few weeks for the testing procedure to be completed. After the inspection, the laboratory tests the product for customer suitability and then issues the test report. The underlying lab will give non-conformity report if the sample does not meet the BIS standard requirements. Step 3 is filling of the application form. Include the product test results and requested fee in the application. This product test report needs to be submitted with the application to the regional BIS office. In addition to the application form and other vital documents, application fees is also must be remitted. Step 4 is issuance of the BIS CRS certification. Inspection and certification of final documents as the final step after all the requested documents have been provided and the BIS official and inspection team have manually finished their document verification facility. Before the BIS CRS certification for the electronic products is issued, all the documents and test reports will be inspected to ensure no excuses in the overall procedure. It may take more than 15 to 30 days for the product to be approved, but once it has, the maker will receive a license suitable for two years which can be renewed at the end of that time. Because induction stoves are categorized as Indian Standard 302 devices, BIS CRS registration is required to obtain BIS certification. So this was all about the topic. For more such content, keep watching our channel, Cobb Best. This is Yash Saxena signing off. Thank you.